When I was first diagnosed with Crohn's disease, I was overwhelmed by a massive wave of information about all the different supplements I had to be taking. Suddenly, everyone had a second cousin twice removed on their mother's side with Crohn's disease who had taken some weird octopus oil that instantly cured them of Crohn's, and they were happy to share that info with me all the time. There was so many recommendations, it made me so crazy that for a long time I didn't even do any of it. I didn't want to even begin to spend the time to sort through all of it. What if I tried something and it didn't work? What if I dropped a hundred bucks after hours of research and got no results? Most of my learning has been through trial and error, and I hopefully want to save you all some time, money, and the frustration that I went through. One of the core supplements that has helped me and many others is probiotics. Probiotics are live bacteria and yeasts that are good for your health, especially for your digestive system. In short, for those of us with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, usually we have an imbalance of bacteria in our guts, and probiotics help fix that. As a side note, I always recommend trying to add the nutrient in some form of natural food in addition to the supplement. For probiotics, this would be fermented foods such as kefir, high-quality yogurt, or sauerkraut. And please don't go buy yogurt loaded with sugar. You're shooting yourself in the foot. More on that later. So on to supplements. There are a few big things to watch out for with probiotics. The first is multiple specific strains. The second is live bacteria. And the third is junk ingredients. Some probiotics have only one or two strains of bacteria. That's no good. The good ones have upwards of 10. The theory behind this is that they will work better as a team than alone. Different bacteria have slightly different functions and work in various places along your digestive tract, so especially for those of us with compromised intestinal health, it's important to hit every area and not just one part. Secondly, the bacteria must be alive. Make sure the product has an expiration date, because if it doesn't, that means the company probably doesn't care whether you have live bacteria or dead bacteria, and dead bacteria will literally do nothing for you. It'll probably even make you sick. It usually says on the label, live bacteria cultures, or something to that effect. Also, most companies that believe in their products will have a guarantee, so look for that as well. Lastly, make sure there's no junk ingredients. There's no reason your supplement capsule should have added sugar or literally anything other than probiotics. Those ingredients are nothing but fillers and a complete waste of your money. All right, on to my recommendations. Based on my own experience and that of others, two different companies, Garden of Life and Renew Life, stand out. For Garden of Life, I would recommend the 100 billion live culture capsules. It runs about $1.17 a capsule, is non-GMO, gluten-free, soy-free, in a vegetarian capsule, and had 34 probiotic strains, which is quite a lot. If you want a little bit of a cheaper option that I believe is still a pretty good bang for your buck, the Renew Life 50 billion one is good as well. It runs about $0.67 cents a capsule, and is also gluten-free, dairy-free, and in a vegetarian capsule. There's no claims of whether or not it's non-GMO as far as I could find, but I would assume it is. Basically, if you're in crisis mode in a big flare or having a tough time, I would go with the Garden of Life option as it's a little more potent and all-encompassing. If you're out of a flare and coasting, the other should work fine. Again, these are my opinions. I'm not a doctor. I'm just giving you what I have found works best for me and many others. There's plenty of other companies that have great products, so if you found something that works for you, use it. I've linked both below in the description. Like I said, both companies have high quality products and a ton of different probiotics, so if either of these don't fit your needs, there's plenty of other options.